This video will demonstrate how to install the EQ 3D version of OnStep V4 Lite. For ease of installation, the equatorial can be placed flat first. Firstly, install the right ascension motor and insert the 48 tooth high step synchronous wheel onto the rotating shaft of the equatorial. Leave a gap of about 2 mm between the synchronous wheel and the equatorial and tighten the fixing screw of the wheel with an Allen wrench. Take out the right ascension motor component and install the 16 tooth synchronous wheel onto the motor shaft. Pay attention to installing the wheel upside down without tightening the fixing screws temporarily. Then, place the 172 tooth synchronous belt onto the wheel and align the fixing holes on the motor bracket with the screw holes on the equatorial. Install the outer hexagonal screw onto the gasket and manually screw the screw into the hole. Before tightening the fixing screws of the bracket, fine-tune the 16-tooth wheel back and forth so that the two wheels and the belt are in the same straight line, and then use an Allen wrench to tighten the 16-tooth synchronous wheel. Now the motor can slide up and down to ensure that the motor bracket is tightly attached to the equator. Use your hand to pull the motor down to keep the belt tight, and then use an external hexagonal wrench to tighten the motor fixing screw. The installation of the right ascension motor is now complete. We will continue to install the declination motor and insert the 48 tooth synchronous wheel onto the rotation axis of the equatorial. There will be a gap of about 2 mm between the wheel and the equatorial. Use an Allen wrench to tighten the fixing screw of the wheel. Take out the declination motor component and install the 16-tooth wheel onto the motor shaft. Do not tighten the fixing screws temporarily. Slide the flat-headed Allen screw into the gap at the front of the motor bracket and install it in the first slot. Subsequently, place the 160-tooth synchronous belt onto the wheel. Insert the motor bracket from below the equator, and then tighten the screws by hand to secure the motor bracket tightly against the equator. After fixing the motor, fine-tune the 16-tooth synchronous wheel back and forth to ensure that the two wheels and the belt are in the same straight line, and then tighten the 16-tooth synchronous wheel with an Allen wrench. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four screws that secure the motor. Now the motor can slide left and right. Use your hand to pull the motor outward to keep the synchronous belt tight. Ensure that the motor bracket fixing screws are tightened and then lock the motor fixing screws. The installation of the declination motor is now complete. Next, let's install the control box. First, unplug the connector of the right ascension motor and place it in the gap of the bracket. Unscrew the two screws at the bottom of one side of the control box plug. Align the control box with the two fixing holes on the bracket and use the screws to fix the controller on the bracket. Pay attention to pushing the control box inward when tightening the screws to make the control box close to the bracket.
take out the short motor cable and plug it into the motor and control box. Then plug the motor connector that was just unplugged into the control box. And then use the aviation connector cable to connect the two motors. The kit has now been installed. Thank you for watching.